good. Welcome to Usha. Thank you so much. Thank you. This what is you so beautiful. You're going to go swimming in the lake later? If you want, you can do it. I was going to ask you if you want going to do it. Naked, maybe. Yeah, we usually do that in Sweden. Oh, you know. We are not. <laughs> that's no problem for us. Nice. Shall I show the tent? Yeah, please. I'm absolutely amazed. I mean, it's rare that you get to do a TV show that is so special and so unusual and it's such a beautiful location. Most of the time they're in really dark, sort of windowless studios. So this is like out in the air, it's beautiful. So thank you so much for inviting me. Woo! Hey, how are you doing? What a pleasure to meet you. Real honor. Sounding amazing. Sounding amazing. Really good. Do you understand anything? Uh, no, no, but it's sounding good. No, no, not really. I wish I did. Lot of spiller. A lot of spiller. What does that mean? Lot of spiller. Let us play. Let us play. Nice. Love it. Share of an difference. We're going to have a croquet competition oh, <laughs> before, just nice. for appetite. And we have some different rules in Usha. Aren't you well, going to play? You start everybody at the same time, and it's on time. You're going to do it by time. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be a rough game. Yeah, but no roughing. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Clara, Feria, shoot! Have I won? No. <laughs> what, what are you meant to do? How, how come I haven't... You missed won? all the... All oh. the... Can I go back? Yes. Okay, we'll see it. Right, now back. Back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <good. laughs> Woo! This is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this is a total mess. My God, what are we going to do? do Why don't let's, we... Uh... Let's eat. Yay! That's good. I like the sound of This that. was a bad idea. I thought it was a mess. <laughs> Katie, how did you start with music? What is um, your first...? First memory? Yeah. Well, I was... Um, I'm originally from Georgia in Eastern Europe, as you know, and... Um, we used to... This was... You know, I was born in 1984, so Georgia used to be part of Russia. Uh, used to be communist, and then in the Soviet early 90s, Union, yeah. Soviet Union, that's right, it broke up um, from the communism, so it was quite a difficult period in Georgia. And so we didn't always have electricity. And when we did, it was like, finally there's an opportunity to listen to the cassettes, because it used to be cassettes back then. And my uncles would put on Queen and Led Zeppelin, and that's what we used to listen to. When the electricity would go out, my mom would play at the piano and she'd play classical music like Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, which was really the first piece of music that just completely mesmerised me and, you know, turned my life around because, you know, that melody is so chilling and so astounding. And, uh, and since then, for me, it's just been all about trying to maintain that feeling, you know, that excitement and that complete hypnosis that certain pieces of music can have on you. Mm. So yeah, that's where it started. Yeah. And now you are here in Usha. Yeah. With over 11 million sold skivor, so is she one of Storbritannia's absolute biggest artists. My ladies and gentlemen, Katie Melloa. Open all the lights are out And from the dark 
Katie Melua. Thank you, Katie. Oh, it's so lovely to have you here. Thank you so much. So great to be here. What a great, great gig to do. Well, you used to play in big arenas like O2 in London. What do you think about our tent in Ongbotsudden i Orsa? I like it a lot. It's fantastic. And I love the decorations, the sort of the horses. That's pretty cool. Yeah. But you are, play, you, are, you are used to play in very strange places. I am, actually. The strangest oh. place I ever played was a gas rig at the bottom of the sea. Bottom of the sea? Yeah. <laughs> off the North Sea, off the coast of Norway. That was 2005. That was pretty crazy. We took a lift down to the very bottom. It took about 10 minutes. And uh, it was bizarre, but cool, really cool. Yeah, it's very nice to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. My name is Katie Melua. Yeah, so snap. He, he has to sing a song for us, a snap song. Aha. Då ska jag ta en som egentligen inte är snapsvisa, men som jag tycker kan passa som snapsvisa. Olle skulle få en syster eller bror, då fråga mor, vad vill du ha? Om det inte gör för jävla ont en cykel. What do you say? Is there like a cheese or a... Bottoms up. It was a very like strange a song. It was about a guy and his mother told him that you probably will have a brother or a sister in a while. Oh. And she asked her, what do you want? Well, he answered, if it's not too much trouble, I want a bicycle. <laughs> that was the song. Cute. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Do you have a song about bicycles too? I do have a song about bicycles, yeah. Nine million bicycles. Yeah. We went to, um, we travelled to China uh, promoting my first record about eight years ago. And uh, I had my producer with me and we had a translator who took us round on a day off. And, um, and she sort of said to us, there's nine million bicycles in Beijing. And Mike, my producer, turned to me and said, that's a good song title. And uh, literally a few months later, he'd written it. There are nine million bicycles in Beijing. That's a fact. It's a thing we can't deny. Like the fact that I will love you till I die.
Ricky Melua. My dear friends, Katie, it was a real honor to have you here. Oh, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've absolutely loved today. I've done so many TV shows, and I've never done a TV show like this where you're just hanging out, you know, you're really interacting with the other artists, you kind of get to know them. So it's just been phenomenal.